Hello again, friends. I hope that your week is treating you well. Uh, today, we are going to play around with a type of poi trick called a flower. It involves having our poi spin around our hands as we uh, kind of perform these big circles with them and everything. So uh, let's check that out. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, helping you bring the love of poi spinning and flow arts into your world. And today we are adding to our week of uh, kind of exploring timing and direction with different types of poi spinning with flowers, which uh, hopefully by the time this is airing, uh, there will be some more spring showers bringing May flowers in your world. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these awesome companies and the work that they do to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. Alrighty then, so we've covered timing and direction with extensions, we've covered timing and direction with pendulums. Today we are going to add another style of poi movement called flowers onto it. Um, flowers actually come in two flavors, what we call in-spin and what we call anti-spin flowers. What we're learning today is the inspin variety. Uh, inspin flowers occur when we have the poi spinning in the same direction as the hand, but they're performing more circles than the hand is, right? Now, what that means is you wind up in situations where you have these like little ringlets that go around your hands that we call petals, yeah? Now, the good news is, is that if you remember our extensions from Monday, switching into flowers is not going to be that terribly big a deal. Start off with an extension and just imagine that you're going to stop your hand at the very, very top of its path and let the poi swing around it for just one circle, yeah? Goes around once and we continue, around once and we continue, around once and we continue. If we switch back to our extension, we can then stop the poi on the bottom and let it just spin around our hand once at the bottom, here, and here, and here, and here, before switching back to our extension. Next, we want to try and check out the pedal over to our left hand side, where again, we just stop our hand real briefly and let the poi go around it, just one circle, before we switch back to the extension, one circle, extension, one circle, extension. We go back to our extension, and now we stop our hand over on the right hand side, boom, like so, and return to our extensions, yeah? So there's basically four spots around our body where I'm trying to stick a flower petal. And the reason for this is, is that these are also our four transition points for where we switch timing and direction. We're not gonna be playing as much with switching between timing and direction combinations today because we need to add more stalls to our repertoire before we can get there. But I want you to have this under your belt at least. So let's talk about creating flowers with petals in different arrangements, yeah? So to start with, I want you to create a two petal flower. This means I'm going to have you stop your hand top and bottom. It's gonna be really tempting just to move your hand straight up and down and I want you to buck that temptation. I want you to think top, reach around, bottom, reach around. Top, reach around, bottom, reach around. Make sure that your hand is still reaching from side to side in between each of these petals. That's very important. Of course, you can also create a two petal flower with the petals on either side. That is stopping your hand left, stopping your hand right, stopping your hand left, stopping your hand right, like so. Again, it's gonna be really tempting to just bring your hand straight back and forth between these two positions. Really think you're reaching up and down, up, and down in between each of these petals, yeah? And of course, once you're comfortable doing the two petal flowers with the petals arranged top and bottom or side to side, we can just do petals in all locations. Stopping our hand left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, like so. So there's a little quirk that happens when we're doing our four petal flowers, and that is that it feels like we're doing more beats than we should be. So for example, as I'm going around, this to me feels like I am doing one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five beats. And that's because I am doing five beats. Uh, even though there's four petals to this flower, we pick up an extra beat because the poi is going faster than our hand is, yeah? 
For now, that starts getting into areas of mathematics that we don't really need to be futzing with. So if you have questions about this, just know that yes, you're not crazy. It feels like there's an extra beat there and that's totally fine. Okay, cool. So now that we've got the basics of performing a flower down, it's time to learn how to perform flowers in all four timing and direction combinations. I'm gonna strongly recommend that you start off just with the two pedals and then work your way up to the four pedals if you prefer. So for example, as I'm doing together same here, I can start off with my extensions and stop both hands over on the left, both hands over on the right, both hands over on the left, both hands over on the right. One thing that is really, really good to note as I'm doing this is that whichever hand I am facing towards, that poi is gonna be spinning in between my arms, yeah? So if I face right towards my right hand, the right hand poi is gonna be spinning between my arms. If I face left towards my left hand, I'm gonna have my left hand poi going between my arms, yeah? Right in between, left in between, right in between, left in between, yeah? So things get a little weird with the other timing and direction combinations and it's going to take a little bit of practice to make them feel intuitive. Let's start with together opposite. Now when we're doing together opposite and we're doing the pedals with arms crossed and open, arms crossed and open, very clearly there's a weird moment that happens right there when our arms are crossed that might be a little uncomfortable. Uh, namely, we have to spin our poi in together opposites when our hands are in a space that we're not used to. Here is the cliff notes on how to make that happen. Um, if I show you this from the side, and I stop with my arms crossed, what you're probably gonna notice is that the angle of the poi is not the same. That is, I've got my right hand poi tucked up really close to my left arm, and my left hand poi is kind of off to a little bit of an angle to make a little bit of room for that right hand poi to kind of hang out in and everything, right? This is how you get through that moment. So do the beat and get out of there. Do the beat and get out of there. There's no need to hang out there for terribly long. Cool, and let's play around with split time same direction next. So in this case, think that you're starting off with your extensions and then you stop one forward, one backward, one forward, one backward, one forward, one backward. I would actually recommend starting off in such a way that you're only stopping in one spot and then going back to the extension, stopping in one spot and then going back to the extension because it's gonna be really, really easy to lose your timing when you stop. You're probably gonna fall back into going together same right here and you want to be in split time same direction. So then go around and stop, go around and stop and then work on the other side. Stop, go around, stop, go around, stop, go around, stop, go around. If it's helpful, I sometimes think of my arms as being like a teeter-totter as I'm doing this, so as I'm doing the little thing to keep the poi moving, where a hand is moving up or down, the opposite hand is doing uh, exactly the opposite move. So if my right hand's going up, my left is going down and vice versa, yeah? All right, so that just leaves split time opposites. Oh, dearie me. So again, we're gonna start with our extensions here and I want you to have a flower petal on either side as you are performing these. It's going to be helpful for you to remember to separate out your arms because it's going to be really easy for you to fall into doing like split time same direction instead. Really think that you have to see your hands come together to either side in order to complete this, yeah? Now if you are up for it, also in split time same direction, I think it's really helpful to work on those top and bottom pedals. Uh, this will help you drill the timing on this one because it involves the poi basically sweeping past each other top and bottom. When you first start off doing this, your hands are gonna be a little bit off to the side and so it, it's really not going to feel like it's doing much. Try and see if you can do those pedals with your hands directly along your center line. And you'll see this little moment where the poise seem to come together almost like they're gonna kiss each other. That is ideally what we're looking to have happen here. And I find that it's a really, really good way to make yourself more comfortable with uh, doing split time opposites, uh, spinning the poi, which of course, for me at least, was the least intuitive timing and direction combination. Your mileage may vary. Okay, so let's put some pieces together here. This entire week we have covered three different variations on what we would refer to as driving styles. That is ways that the poi can interact with your hand as it just goes around in a big circle, yeah? So, we learned how to do pendulums, we learned how to do extensions, and we've now learned how to do flowers, right? 
you notice the amount of energy changes as I'm switching back and forth between those things, whereas my hand just keeps on moving around in that big circle. I want you to try this out in all four timing and direction combinations. So as we go around in together same, we start with pendulums, we then go to extensions, and we then go to flowers. And then we work our way back down. Extensions, pendulums, and we can switch back and forth between any of them, from pendulums to flowers, from flowers to extensions, and from extensions to pendulums, yeah? So for today's homework, I want to see you do three reps going back and forth between each of these things. Three reps of a pendulum, three reps of an extension, three reps of a inspin flower in each timing and direction combination. I will show you right quick what all that looks like. So tomorrow we are going to pull together everything we've learned this week and probably some stuff from last week as well into a brand new poi combo to teach you how to flow back and forth between all these different things, yeah? Cool. And in the meantime, I wanna see the work that you're doing. Let's stay connected across quarantine. Uh, do make sure to shoot videos of yourself trying out these poi tricks and everything and post them to Instagram or Facebook and tag me. I am DrexFactor on Instagram and I'm DrexFactorPoi on Facebook. And of course, if you want to rush ahead, you should check out my Spin Poi Like a Rockstar series on my website. Go to drexfactor.com and there's a little uh, email sign-up form right there. It will send all of those lessons direct to your email inbox so that uh, you can take this at whatever pace you want to. And if you want to skip ahead and do some more advanced stuff, you're totally able to. And of course, if you are enjoying this project and would like to support it, please consider signing up to do so over on Patreon, like all these nice folks did. Um, uh, they are the ones that are making this very video possible, as well as all the videos on this channel. Um, these are really uncertain times, and I have a lot of friends that are freaking out right now, and I'm so grateful for all the folks on Patreon that are making sure that I can keep on making videos for you through all of this, yeah? Head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi to sign up. You'll get early access to all of my videos, as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future. So. That would be hugely appreciated. Thank you in advance. Awesome, friends. So let's meet back here tomorrow and we are going to talk a poi combo then, yeah? Thanks so much and I will see you then.